Hello everyone, it's Bon and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have been well. Thank you very much for coming back and hanging out, whatever this is that we're doing. Um, yeah, so it's winter now in Canada where I live. So today, um, I guess I'm gonna have to do some shoveling of some snow. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to shovel all of these. Oh, look at that, they have a package. Amazon. All right, so I guess I'm gonna go and shovel all of that snow outside and I'm gonna go talk to you guys again later. See ya. So hello again and thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, if you're new to this channel, well, I am Bon and thank you very much for checking this out and you know, just hanging out, doing our thing. Um, this is another episode of Tea Time with Bon, or as like what my friends would like to call it, Bonding Time with Bon. <laughs> yes, we like puns in this channel, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I got new hair. Um, I am blonde now, so yeah. Do you guys like it? Um, do you think it's too much or anything like that? Um, well, I like it, so I guess that's all that matters, right? So anyway, in this video, we're gonna go travel back in time to September and October to talk about what I do in my PhD work. If you've seen my previous videos, you would have known that I'm currently doing a PhD in computer science at the University of Calgary, and I'm in information visualization where I take data and I create interactive representations of it so that I can, you know, give it to people. And I use a lot of art and design in my process. And last year I was fortunate enough to be included in um, a gallery presentation of my work. Yeah, an artist curated one of my works and decided to display it, to put it on display at the Herringer Kiss Gallery here in downtown Calgary where I took a bunch of prints from my visualization and I posted in there. That was for uh, the Beakerhead Festival which happens here in Calgary um, every October, uh, or I mean rather every September. And essentially it's a combination of art, science, and engineering. It's open to everyone, usually lasts for a week, and this year um, it happened again. Um, I guess it's their third year now, or second, something like that. Third, probably. Um, for this year, at least, um, there's several, like maybe about 13 different places in downtown where they had different installations of um, art uh, for Beakerhead. And here's the map, as you can see, like, um, it's gonna zoom in. Yeah, so as you can see in here, like, there's a lot of places that were, um, where they had art installations and so I wasn't able to get to all of them. I was actually sick during that day but I still went out because why not? You know, it's bigger head and only happens once a year and I would love to see it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna talk about one uh, some of the things that I went to. Um, I first went back to the Herringer Kiss Gallery where I was able to display my um, prints last year. Um, this year they have a different one um, uh, which is kind of like a more of an interactive art um, from this girl, Oksana. Essentially she created diff um, kind of like silicone replicas of what looks like memory glands or like internal organs. She basically created this system where you know she's projecting over um, her sculptures and you can interact with it. You know, it knows whether there's a person in front of it and things like that. Um, and it's kind of like her take on how people have sexualized women's breasts and things like that, but 
really is just part of a human body. Um, she's also using this as a commentary where she thinks because in the future, you know, we're gonna have, um, we're gonna be cyborgs basically and all of our sensory experiences will be kind of taken up to the next level and so she placed a lot of sensors um, on her sculptures which looks like breasts or her, you know, things like that. She added a lot of sensors in her sculpture so that when people touch it and things like that it will react and um, do some fancy things. Which is really cool. Um, that's my phone. Yeah, the other one that I went to was um, called The Claw. Um, and essentially it's like a, a giant toy crane. So if you've ever been to like an arcade or like the mall or things like that, um, where they have a bunch of toys and you have this kind of like claw thing that goes down and then you, you know, you try to control it and you grab something. That's one of the, there's a big version of that during Beaker Head. And so people were um, trying to use the claw to to grab kind of like sandboxes or like sandbags rather and once they have those sandbags you know they can like put it into the bin and then depending on what type of sandbag they have they're gonna get a price next one that I went to was the bow wave so essentially there's a river here in Calgary called the bow I don't know if you guys heard but back in 2013 Calgary had this huge flood and I guess bow wave is one of those um, interactive installations that they did to kind of commemorate what happened during that time but when I was there I didn't really see much what I saw was like there's this bunch of blocks and you can put your hand on it and it will create uh, music depending on where you're touching um, which is pretty cool so if you have a bunch of friends you know you can come in there and then people can touch in different places and it will produce I don't know nice music so it's kind of like um, a modern type of instrument so it's kind of cool um, I wasn't really able to create music on my own because I was like taking videos and I was alone because I don't have any friends ha <laughs> jokes I do have friends but during that time they didn't want to go out I actually met up with Gabby who was in one of my videos previously she was there so we were hanging out for a little bit but she was working at she was volunteering actually for Beakerhead so she wasn't as free as I am to kind of or as I was to go around the city and see everything else. Yeah, so the next one that I went to was Nucleation and essentially it's like there's a lot of bubbles basically coming out of this building, an old building in downtown. Um, they created all these bubbles and they put it in this really nice configuration. So it looks like there's a lot of soap bubbles that were coming out of this building, which is just kind of exploding everywhere. Um, that's actually one of the cool things I found. The next one that I went to was The Nest. Um, here be dragons or maybe dragons. So essentially they there's this kind of like parking lot or where they're doing a construction down in Calgary and they put some sort of cracks in the, the construction walls and they made it look like there's like dragon eyes or dragon scales like moving around and of course i went to the main event they had the so-called serpent mother this installation by the san francisco's flaming lotus girls and what it is is that they created kind of like a skeletal version of a snake uh, it's a really big snake and each of its spine has some sort of fire coming out of it and it also breathes fire um, yeah and so you can kind of gather around um, and they have kind of like sort of a fire show light show at night and it was pretty cool yeah so that's Beakerhead and I think it's really cool. If you have a chance to come visit Calgary, maybe try visiting around September where this is happening because you'll enjoy it. Um, the other festival that happens in here is called, um, is like the Stampede Festival, which is kind of like the cowboy thing. Um, if you're into cowboys or rodeos and things like that, then maybe come visit around. It happens around June um, here in Calgary. Uh, but yeah. Basically, what you're seeing here um, in YouTube so far is me just painting um, in my spare time, painting, you know, like the different characters that I think about, or just painting from my imagination, and they're just normal paintings. But if you guys are interested, I can also post things that I've been doing, um, you know, for work, because, um, you know, this is actually the one that puts, you know, bread in my table. Yeah. <laughs> this is how I feed myself, this is how I travel, and this is how I buy my paints. Because paints are freaking expensive. 
yeah, um, so if you guys are interested, like put it in the comment section down below if you want to see more of it. Yeah, so I guess that's everything that I really want to talk about. Thank you for visiting my channel and thank you for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!